you can trudge through law school the traditional way. And about halfway through, a classmate can sell you on a four-digit bar prep course that he or she's actually never even used. Then, you can drop hundreds of dollars on a non-refundable deposit to lock in a fantastic four-digit deal. Hope you caught the sarcasm there. Only to get access many months, maybe even over a year later, just in time to cram for the bar by staring at a book or screen a good 60 hours a week. Yes, you can do that. Or you can get Crescendo and score immediate lifetime access to killer content that looks nothing like traditional talking head video lectures or brick outlines. Crescendo can elevate your entire law school experience, step up your MPRE and bar prep, and even help you refresh your recollection of critical concepts any time after. Here's the ideal scenario. You get Crescendo as a 1L. No, that's not too early. Here's why. As you take bar-related classes like torts, property, or civil procedure, you can study the related crescendo outlines at the start of each semester. Memorizing crescendo's outlines and using its practice questions early will give you a solid foundation for each bar-related class. You'll likely find crescendo's outlines easier to memorize than others you may have used before. This is thanks to countless mnemonics or memory hooks, along with fun flashcards, helpful chunking, and other innovations. Plus, Crescendo's audio outlines and audio flashcards provide greater freedom and flexibility. More on how to use Crescendo's audio effectively in a moment. Crescendo can make you a more competent case reader and in-class listener, ultimately empowering you to better recognize professor-specific nuances likely to pop up on finals. This is because you're no longer preoccupied by trying to figure out or memorize the nuts and bolts of constitutional or criminal law or what have you. You've already got a solid understanding of the critical black letter laws. Instead, your mid semester time and energy can zero in on reading your academic judge, your professor, and keeping track of his or her hobby keys. Now, when finals come around, you can review your crescendo outlines and your professor specific notations you added throughout the semester. You can also take some more practice questions focusing on the multiple choice or essay questions or both, depending on the format of your finals. By the way, Crescendo's practice questions are directly from the company that makes the uniform bar exam. Definitely more reliable than some of the random ones you might stumble upon online. Plus, you get the point sheets, the actual bar grader reference sheets for each practice essay. Ideal scenario aside, some students have found success using Crescendo last minute to cram for finals. Better late than never, as they say. But if you do use Crescendo to prepare for finals, even if you're late to that party, that investment should pay dividends down the road. When the time does come to prepare for the bar exam, Crescendo's mnemonics will be familiar friends, and the black letter laws that you've already memorized before should come back quickly. Alrighty, if you're still listening, you're probably hungry for more detail about how you can use Crescendo's innovative audio as effectively as possible. To best explain, we need to start with a little introspection. You see, people have different levels of sensory tolerance. On the lowest side of the spectrum are people who must study in silence. In the middle are people who can tolerate or even enjoy studying with soft, instrumental background music. On the high side of the spectrum are people who can even enjoy listening to loud music with lyrics while studying. Where are you on the spectrum? Regardless of where you are on that spectrum, Crescendo recommends you read the complete written outlines before relying more fully on Crescendo's corresponding audio outlines and flashcards. This not only helps prevent misunderstanding the audio, but also aids recollection. Seeing the words and pictures should help you visualize key concepts as you enjoy the audio later. Plus, the written outlines give structuring that aids with chunking, the process of putting the right concepts in the right buckets in your brain. There are three ways you can read an outline, depending on your sensory tolerance. On the lower side of the spectrum, you can read the entire outline at your own pace, without the audio playing. If you do this, consider reading aloud. Saying the words can create an additional memory hook. More towards the middle of the spectrum, you can read along silently while listening to the audio files without the background classical. And finally, higher on the spectrum, you can read along while listening to the audio files with the classical. By the way, survey responses from past users suggest most people prefer this approach, finding the music and rhythm engaging. Plus, each track has a unique classical background song, hopefully further aiding with chunking. Regardless of where you are on the sensory tolerance spectrum, when you go through an entire outline for the first time, it may feel a little like drinking from a fire hose. Don't worry about memorizing the mnemonics or anything else yet. Just get a general feel for the content and its organization. After reading an outline, you can begin listening to the audio files anywhere without reading along. 
This is the most important and enjoyable part of the Crescendo experience. Your goal should be to listen to each audio track on repeat seven to ten times, depending on how well it's sticking. By the way, even if you start out preferring to listen without the classical music, by the time you've repeated a track a few times, you may want to switch to the music version to give you some rhythm and keep you sharp. This stage is when you start caring about memorization. With each repeat, more and more will sink in and stick. Don't stress, just relax, and before you know it, you'll be ready to move on to the next track. As you listen, you'll be most successful if you find something to do that you enjoy, but that's mostly mindless. You can hit the gym, crochet, clean your place. The possibilities are almost endless. You'll hopefully memorize the content and manage your test anxiety more effectively than ever before. Now let's talk a little about Crammer Time or the audio flashcards. Crammer Time can be used at any time after you've read an entire outline. The primary purpose of these audio flashcards is to quiz you on key mnemonics. By the way, if you're a more visual learner, you may better enjoy the companion visual flashcards available through your Crescendo account. Now what do you do the final day or two before the exam? We recommend listening through all the related audio, including Crammer Time, at least one more time to make sure nothing slips through the cracks, of course, if you're more of a visual learner, you can read through the outline again and use the visual flashcards. Alrighty, before you go, there are a couple things you should know about Crescendo's written outlines. First, they've got awesome illustrations. Enjoy those. Second, you'll notice some green and orange coloring. Mnemonics are sometimes colored to clarify the relationship between their parts. If their parts are interdependent, all the parts are necessary. The avocado coloring is used. Think and logic, which begins with A, and avocado, which begins with letter A. And logic, avocado. Now, if each part is independently sufficient, then orange is used. Or logic, orange, right? Now, sometimes mnemonics are uncolored because their connection logic is just not an issue. Maybe it's just a list of related concepts. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this video was helpful in understanding Crescendo and how to use it effectively. Drop us a note if you have any questions. We are happy to talk. Until next time from us here at Crescendo, happy cramming.